How you going? Right, everyone. Hello. Hello. I I'm have to... Philip Bershad with Philip Jeffries. <laughs> and we are, for the first time ever, bringing you welcome to Behind Design. <laughs> I would like to introduce to you guys our first guest ever. Um, she has been in publishing for a long time. Editor of Delish.com, editor of House Beautiful. Good friend of mine, someone who needs no introduction, Joanna Saltz. Hello. All right, we got Joanna now. Sorry. It's a favorite song. Joanna, we love you. Well, yes. before we get, begin, Joanna or Joe. Either one, I'll take it. Yeah. There's, there's uh, something uh, I'd like to share with the audience that... Um, I don't know if you're comfortable with it. I know a little secret about Joanna and, uh, and uh, <laughs> a little secret that um, uh, actually I, it's, it's my same secret. We also, we, and I'm going to tell, I don't care if I'm you ready. want. I'm ready. We're, you're from New Jersey. Oh, there it is. It's out there. Yeah. We're Jersey, we're Jersey kin. I mean, and also I feel like it's worth noting your company is headquartered around the corner from um, the, one of the high schools I went to. So I feel like not only are we Jersey kin, but we're from the same North Jersey, Essex County area. So it's extra kindred. It's, it's very, I, I agree. You know, it's, it's like a, a kumbaya. A hundred percent. Yeah. So before I, I get into anything, I think first and foremost, let me ask your family, your friends, everybody's okay. Yes. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I got to say, I, listen, unprecedented, what is everybody saying? Unprecedented times. And, um, you know, I think my family is really good. I, my, I have three kids, as you know, they are very responsible. My boys focus on their work. My daughter is only six, so she's still trying to figure things out. But, um, you know, in the school system where we live, they were really organized about getting the homeschooling stuff. So that's all been great. And everybody's healthy, thankfully. Um, and then the House Beautiful team, they are extremely efficient and focused. Uh, we're really and how are they? Is, is, are, like your, your team, they're healthy. They're OK. Everybody's everybody, healthy. But I know a lot of our viewers here probably know uh, you and, and know, you know, some of, some of your team, both at yeah. House Beautiful and Hearst. Everybody's OK? Everybody's good. Everybody's hunkered down. Um, you know, we've had like just we've all been really good support systems for each other. It's so important. I mean, Philip, as you know, we always talk about too with this industry being so close. Um, it's really been amazing to see people band together and be so um, supportive and helpful. Yeah. You know, we really, um, you know, obviously like our health and happiness comes first and making sure we're taking care of ourselves and the people we love. Um, and then, but truly right up there is the people we work with. We love truly like helping each other. And so, you know, we've been banding together in, in this time. It's been extraordinary to see. <laughs> Let's go back a month. Okay. Oh, yeah. One month ago, no craziness yet. It was just something, yes. Corona was something you drank with Mexican food. And, uh, you know, uh, and, and you're something you heard about in China as something that might be going on in a place you'd never heard of at the time. Mm -hmm. What was going on in design? Where did you see design going right before everything happened in terms of color, design, style? What, what, what did you see? I mean, I have to tell you truly, you know, at House Beautiful, you know, we've always been a brand that cared deeply about color, cared deeply about, you know, pattern and texture. But I definitely have to admit that, like, there was a moment, we, we were sort of in the middle of this moment of people loving, like, white and neutral again, right? And, like, loving, like, really rich textured whites and neutrals. But also, you know, we, we had just come off of a couple of magazine covers that were very... Um, were very, I would say, clean and sort of like in that extremely um, neutral zone. And honestly, I would say January, February, March, they were like really successful covers for us, um, but probably a little bit um, lighter and whiter than our normal covers were. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think we were sort of reveling in that fact that like people were just looking for a little bit of cleanness and a little bit of like uncluttered sort of beauty. Um, 
to that end, I'll also say that we were seeing a lot of like real like personality coming through. You know, I think that one of the things that, you know, designers struggle with is they have clients that have such specific points of view, you know, clients now are becoming more and more knowledgeable. They know what they want. They see lots of inspiration out there. Yeah. You know, designers are dealing with this, you know, when a client comes to them, they're like, look, I found all these things on Pinterest. Like how frustrating is that for a designer when they're like, well, I don't want to just replicate something that I saw on Pinterest. So what we were also seeing was this sort of push towards real personalization. How can I take a Philip Jeffries wallpaper or wall covering that's appeared in other homes before and make it feel really special in this space, right? And so designers really having to push those boundaries. I mean, I know you've seen your stuff used in any number of a million ways. You know that there's no end to it. But really seeing people try to like sort of push the envelope on how they were personalizing things for their clients, seeing things that frankly you don't see on Pinterest. And so that's the stuff we're always looking for at House Beautiful is not just always beauty and perfection, but, you know, ingenuity and creativity and doing things that frankly feel unexpected or surprising. Um, well, I want to also just pause because I want everyone to know yeah. I did not give Joe any no. for going into this. No, no. And, <laughs> I will not uh, be uh, um, <laughs> One that the marketing team put together, they were good, but I want to, I want to challenge a little bit. So I want to give everyone uh, like a little pause because I think you're doing amazing, like giving me some interesting insight here without, you know, on your toes, which I love. Love. I, I mean, so I'm going to challenge you a little bit, okay? Yeah. yeah. So if if white, neutral, clean, obviously personality is going to come into it yeah. March 1st, February 1st. Mm. Okay? When this is done, and say it's done in the summer or, or early fall or whenever it is, what's going to change? What do you think? What do you, what, you know, what, what do you project is going to be different at the end of this crazy time? I think that what has happened in the last few weeks is our personal appreciation with our homes, right? Yeah. And understanding what we love about our homes, what we can't stand about our homes, you know, all of those things that we've been putting off for years, all of those leaps of faith that we've been wanting to take that we never did, like all of those things kind of staring us in the face. Right. And I think we're going to really see the pendulum shift to people really wanting to do things and make their homes better. Um, I have to say, like, you know, at House Beautiful, we are working on a lot of digital packages around these kinds of things. You know, I think people are going to put in pools for the, you know, people who've been always thinking about maybe putting in a pool might put in a pool now because they want to stay close to home. They don't want to go to a public pool, maybe. Or, you know, I mean, I think it's also even down as small as, you know, that stupid hole in the wall that you never fixed, you're finally going to spackle it. You know what I mean? Like, it's even that minute. So I think that people are going to... Or at least put something on the wall something. that covers it up, maybe. It's not like what could that. something... What could be... It would be great if there was something that existed in the world that could cover your walls. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Let's think about that. I think that's Hold all on. Right. Let me give it a little thought. <laughs> mm. Let, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk offline about okay. what, our, what the business possibilities are. Um, well, I, I'll tell you, I agree. Because right? I will tell you, um, uh, to transition a little, what we're doing here, I don't know about you, but over the last two, three weeks, I've made more video, Zoom, FaceTime, Google Duo calls than I probably ever had in, like in the last two years. Yeah. Are you, are, is that true for you? I can't. I mean, too many. Too many. Let me ask you. Is this, I'm tired of looking is at this thing's face. changed now? Look at that I've face. Never, it's great. I've never had to look at it this much. I'm like, I can't take it. And also, I need a haircut. Yeah. I'm like, let's go. What's happening? So let me ask you, is this the future? Do you think? Like, is this one of the things? Obviously, things are going to change. Everyone's talking about things are going to change now after this is over. And um, you know, 2008, some things changed. 2001, sometimes things changed. Is, is, do you think that this is one of those things that's going to change? Yeah, I think, I think there's a few things. I, I think that one, it's, if companies have learned to work more efficiently like this, I think a lot of those, 
like traits hopefully will for the positive will move over i think in our industry i mean you and i talk about this at length about you know some certain some brands being reticent to embracing the digital era and now really understanding the importance of connecting with your audience connecting with your customers there um when you don't have the you know i don't think any of us imagined that we wouldn't have access to in person um you know sort of moments in design and so um you know i think that obviously you know it's important for us to support all of the different um brands and companies but i think too it's it that is something that's really going to be fascinating over the next few weeks is to see how certain companies really embrace the digital universe um i'll also say though too from a design perspective people are um I, I you know and you ask me like what sort of aesthetics and and where I sort of see design going I I really think it's going to come down to like comfort and livability. I mean, I think that designers are going to be harder pressed to make sure that the spaces they're creating for their clients are places that real people can live and spend lots of time in. I mean, and I think you know you guys have been doing that so well and again you're not paying me to say this but um you know the wearability and you know the your the usefulness of your product digital universe people are going to have to embrace it um obviously you're so connected i know you're talking to so many designers out there how are they um starting to uh, design differently oh, like God. what are the tools they want and uh you know uh and what for the other designers out there right now uh not only are they, uh, what are you hearing people want but what do you suggest people start utilizing Well, I think that um, you know, obviously we're seeing a huge rise in e sort of e design. I think that you know, a lot of our client, a lot of our um designers that we work with are working with their clients over Zoom, you know, just like we were saying. You know, there is digital mood boards. You know, we're building um, every year we build a house in I but we worked with you guys last year on it. We built this whole home. Beautiful. This whole home was in Nashville. um this year is um in Denver we haven't done the big announcement of all the designers but even now as we've been talking to them having to work with them frankly kind of in the pers- in the position of a, a client um getting their mood boards via email you know we've been working with them over Google Docs it's going to be really interesting to how this digital sort of wave changes the um the pool in which designers get to have clients in you know now that you're doing something over the internet basically yeah. you kind of have access to anyone right and so it's not just people who are in your area i mean we've always all, all like known that at house beautiful we have designers who work with clients all across the country but if you're someone who can't really afford to ha- fly a designer in from across the country maybe now is the time when you get to work with them you know over e- over email and you know and o- over the digital airwaves yeah. i think that's Absolutely, really right? it's really exciting to me. I mean, you also know too like people find and fall in love with people on Instagram all the time. It's like you kind of don't know where those people are based. So you do your best, but now it feels like all the boundaries are off. When it comes to working at home, okay? Yeah. It comes to working at home. Um have you had any of these really big serious design meetings when you guys are like on a whole Zoom or something and somebody's like a kid or like pet just jumps in and it totally changes things for the better has that happened yet first of all it happens all the time and it's me i'm the person my daughter i'm like i can see my daughter out of my corner of my eye like i'm like don't come in here don't do it stay back i can see you um but yes it happens all the time yes so is there any good parts or inspiration or what tell me something of tell is there any been like like one of the kids said something or the dog jumped up and you're like oh i got it is that has, not more distracting it, no it's truly not has not been funny it's been more stressful than anything cuz usually i'm like trying to have a serious conversation about you know it's something serious and then my daughter just like boop pops in like right here to be like mommy i have a question um so it's been very stressful that said i saw a funny little meme today of like you know there's so many different things that are happening now on Zoom or on you know Gchat or whatever where you can like make yourself a potato i don't know i saw something funny where it's like you can make yourself a talking potato and i guess some boss somewhere turned herself into a potato to be funny and i couldn't turn it off and so she was a talking potato for the entire <laughs> yeah somebody else told me that that story did you know that but let's let's talk about something serious because um there is something serious i uh, my my um 
uh, guests, I, I think, really want to know. So are you a, a, a pajama gal or are you dressed up? Um, I, okay, so, Philip, you might know that I also run a brand called Delish. And on that, I mean on that channel, um, we, my kids and I host a cooking together, a cooking class every day, a one on Instagram Live. And I, um, and mostly just because I was looking for people, I mean, you know, keeping kids entertained all day is a thing. And so I was looking for my kids to have an outlet for people to be able to connect with us. And so for that, I get dressed in actual clothes. Like I'm wearing pants with a button right now. And it's, I feel really proud of myself. Um, if it were not for that, I would 100% be in like, I mean, listen, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now. It's not like I'm dressed up, but I got dressed up for you. Look you at this. Great. This is great. I look, I even you put on nice sneakers and stuff. I have nice socks no. on. No, no. I've got, I've got slippers on. I can't even show them to you. I'm wearing slippers on my feet. I can't even pick my foot up that high. Um, but yeah, no, I'm comfortable. But I'm like, I do my hair. I put a little bit of makeup on. I really, I really need to put my earrings in. I'm afraid my earring holes are going to close up if I don't do that soon. Yeah. I put a wedding ring on today for the first time in like three weeks. You know uh, what I mean? I'm just like, Cash. Really swollen. <laughs> I've been eating too much. Exactly. But, uh, getting back to it, um, working from home, I will tell you, it's like everybody's working from home now. Yeah. And the crazy thing is you're in media. Uh, you know, you're obviously uh, primarily putting together these amazing magazines. Yeah. Uh, House Beautiful. And, um, but let's talk about, like, so, some of these celebrity homes and, and yeah. newscasters, right? Some mm -hmm. of them are making zillions of dollars, and the homes are, like, mm -hmm. exquisite, right? Is there anyone that you've seen uh, on a, uh, one of these uh, on TV being interviewed that you were just like, I love it. It's like spectacular, beyond my shadow. The you know, shadow. You. I love Leanne Ford, um, and you know she's a longtime friend of mine, and she actually. We just ran one of her houses. She has a new one that she just bought in LA and she's been posting pictures of that. And that's actually been extraordinary and gorgeous and it's going to be amazing. Um, so I'll say her as like a nice, cause I, cause I really do love her. She's a lovely, lovely person. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, there are a zillion other questions, but I want to be considerate of, of uh, all of our fans watching. Uh, yeah. We're going to do our rapid fire. You ready? Sure, I'm ready. Uh, okay. What is your favorite design tip that never fails? Oh, gosh. Um, favorite design tip that never fails. Um, oh, God. Oh, gosh. That's so hard. That's so fast. Don't be afraid of the things you own. Don't Don't be afraid. Be afraid. I like that. Okay. Don't. If you could have dinner with any person in design, past, present, or future, not future, past or present, who would it be? Um, I'm fascinated. I'm truly, truly fascinated by Frank Lloyd Wright. Absolutely right. Love it. Uh, podcast that you like that you love. Oh God, I'm so bad at this. I don't listen to enough podcasts. I, you know what? I love Alec Baldwin's podcast. I actually think it's. Really I haven't good. heard that one. I love her. Okay. Any top recommendations for a design book? Oh gosh, um, these are really hard questions. I'm sorry. I'm so um, design books. Um, I mean, there's so many. I get so many a day. What's at the top of my pile right now at work? Robert Robert Stillen's book is there. Um, yeah, classic. I, that's a classic one. Um, who okay, else? Ready? Last question. Okay. Favorite Philip Jeffries wall covering. Oh gosh, I mean Philip, like your the grass cloth still. I mean the greatest Great. classics. Classic. 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 I love a classic texture. Love it. All right, before we stream off, is there anything you'd like to uh, uh, tell everybody again, uh, your, uh, your hashtag, tell everybody uh, your, if they want to follow you. How do they follow you, Joe? All right, I'm Joe Saltz. Um, Joe Saltz, like salt and pepper with the Z at the end. Um, follow House Beautiful. Um, we uh, just, housebeautiful.com, great tips. I have an extraordinary team. Um, if you're a designer, pitch us projects. You, we can never get enough. Make sure they all have Philip Jeffries wall covering in them. You know, we don't. I'm just kidding. But also, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for that check. Um, no, and, you know, just just stay, stay in love with your home. Love your space. Come to us for help. Read our magazine. Read our website. Follow us on Instagram. Do all the things. We're everywhere. So Thank you again, uh, you guys. Uh, Joanna Sauls, thank you for being here with us today. Thank, thank you. Thank all of you for thank listening you. in to our first ever inaugural. Da, da, da. Welcome. Philip Jeffries presents Welcome Behind the Design. We 
Hope you loved a little bit of the design, a little bit of the business, and a little bit of light uh, humor to get a little smile in your day. Uh, as a reminder, guys, Philip Jeffries, we are open for business still. Please send in your orders. We are here. We would love them. Uh, and again, uh, on behalf of both Joe and I, thank you so much, and make it a great day. Bye. Bye.